Hey guys, so I recently picked up the uh, X-Men X of Swords uh, oversized hardcover book. So I'm going to do a brief overview. I've also finished reading it. I worked my way through that thing very quickly. So I'll give you some thoughts as we go through the story. So let's hop right into that. All right, guys. So here is X-Men X of Swords, the oversized hardcover. I think there is a, another dust jacket variant or something. Uh, but, you know, the book itself was hard enough to find, um, so this one works for me. I'm happy with it. So let's jump right into the book. Okay, here it is without that dust jacket on, X of Swords. Pretty plain uh, book cover on it. And so, you know, this, what X of Swords basically is, for those who don't know, this is pretty much the first, it is the first crossover event of uh, the Dawn of X era. So you'll see here's all it collects. So yeah, I might have problems uh, holding this open and recording with one hand because the binding on it is a little bit tight. It's, uh, it's not exactly the quality that I, I would have expected, you know, coming off the, the Marvel omnibuses. Anyway, so jumping right into it. Uh, all the artwork and everything's great. Um, the story uh, it was of some interest. It's got its ups and downs. I won't really spoil anything, but uh, what I will say is, I mean, you get some more history of Krakoa and, uh, you know, what ancient history is, is connected to it. You get some more history about Apocalypse. He's sort of a big player in this uh, oversized hardcover. And, you know, you've got your huge cast of characters that are involved in the event. And uh, if you're someone who's been picking up weeklies, um, you will probably have realized that... Um, X of Swords invaded a lot of the weeklies. I mean, it invaded Excalibur, the New Mutants, Hellions, uh, X-Force, Sword, all of those. So, I mean, there's a lot, you can see there's the tarot cards here. There's a lot about prophecies in here, et cetera, et cetera. But, you know, what this story boils down to is it's basically one of those uh, go fetch em quests, you know? So the X-Men, there's a giant land dispute and the x-men have to battle in this game for certain reasons um and first it's the, they have to go find these 10 swords and so there's a e specific x-men who have to get specific swords and uh that sort of manifests itself into each of their own personal journeys and that's where it sort of breaks up into some of the uh, individual titles rather than like the x-men title or any of the uh x of sword specific titles um yeah, and, and so pretty much they have to go get these swords. Um, they've got to insert them in this ceremony thing. Uh, and then it's a contest of champions, pretty much. They have to fight the uh, this other group who has also been collecting their swords. Um, and yeah, it's, uh, it's a fun read. The, the most fun part, I think, for me was like leading up to the actual battle or contest, if you want to call it that. Um, because basically what happens in the lead up is just like very exciting ways each character gets their sword and it kind of bookends all these issues with like, they got, the character got their sword, boom, they stick it in the stone of the ceremony and they wait for the others to get their sword. So here's like the little ritual area. Um, yeah, so like here's the story about Wolverine, like going to hell to get his sword, etc. I mean, the, it's kind of funny. Magic literally already has her, her sword because it's a soul sword. So she's one of the first. She just, like, sticks it right in. She's, like, all gearing and ready to go. Um, yeah. And so I will tell you my... It's funny. My complete favorite part of this... Uh, oh, here's Storm getting her sword. She goes to Wakanda and pretty much, you know, ruins relations with Wakanda to get the sword. But, you know, it's for a good cause, at least. That's what she says. Um, but, yeah, my my favorite issue... Uh, my favorite issues in this was the Hellions. I mean, if you're not reading Hellions right now, and you're reading Weeklies, you need to pick up Hellions. You need to give it a shot, because it is literally the most fun X title going on right now. Sinister is hilarious, and he's, it's like, he's basically leading his own suicide squad, um, but they can really die, and if they die, they just come back, and he gets to lead them again. And, uh, I mean, it's, 
Nanny and Orphan Maker are such weird, interesting characters to be a part of this. Havoc is the best Summers. <laughs> Sorry, Cyclops. I mean, an empath is in this, and he's just a complete jerk, and, you know, he uh, he often pays the consequences for being a complete jerk. And Psylocke, Quanon, is leading this team, and it's just really, it's like a really fascinating character dynamic that's going on here. Um, and, yeah, it's really awesome. And here's the new mutants issue in here where, uh, you know, someone who's not too equipped to a uh, sword fight has been chosen as one of the fighters and kind of a fear going on there because, I mean, the big crux here is like the battle is going to take place in Otherworld. And for some reason, when the X-Men mutants die in Otherworld, they don't come back the same way when they're uh, revived. Like something is lost or something is combined and they're just like, they're not who they were. So that person that died will never be again. So there are some stakes there. Um, and now I will get briefly into a little bit of spoiler territory about the actual contest of champions. So if you don't want to know that, um, feel free to just skip a, skip ahead or uh, maybe this is your, your checking off point for the video. But it's my criticism. I was really excited. So, I mean, Psylocke... Uh, Betsy Braddock, I got to get used to that. Captain Britain, Betsy Braddock, is the first um, battle that is drawn. She fights one of these uh, other world mutants, and it's a sword fight. And I'm like, yeah, sword fight, awesome. This is what we've been expecting. It's like, there's the ten swords, right, the blades. Uh, and so she has her sword fight, and, you know, that happens. And then after that, like, literally the rest of the the fights there's not really any more sword fights at least explicit sword fights maybe there's a couple uh, but not like arena type sword fights that like we saw with uh captain britain and that other world mutant like one of the contests is like a wedding actually and they both get points uh, it's like it wasn't what i was expecting like you, you you build me up to have these awesome sword battles with these characters and i want to see the awesome sword battles with the characters and, like, I don't know, like, Wolverine and Storm have a drinking contest as one of the, uh, the things. I mean, it's still fun, but it's, like, it wasn't as cool as I thought it was going to be. And so I was a little disappointed with that. Um, and, like, Magic, come on, Magic is so skilled with her soul sword. She was going to fight this big monster dude. And then the person who's running the show here is all of a sudden, like, Actually, not a sword fight. Put your swords down. It's just going to be an arm wrestle. Yep, you two are just going to arm wrestle, and that's going to be for the point. And, like, that is so lame in comparison to, like, an epic sword fight or any other type of, like, battle to the death, air quotes. But, you know, it is what it is. And it's still, like I said, it's still fun. It's still worth reading, in my opinion. But, you know, just didn't live up to the expectations of how cool it could have been, I think. But then, you know, this as the story wraps up, that's where it picks up again. And I thought they did a good job with, like, everything coming to head and, uh, you know, wrapping up the story and, like, the history here. And, you know, leading into uh, the continuation of the Krakoa era of X-Men. So I'll leave it at that. I don't want to spoil much for you. Um, there are some cool extras in the back here. I mean, there's the Peach Momoko uh, variant. There's a lot of variant covers back here for some of the issues that were in here. I think there's a couple wraparounds or two also. I mean, this tarot card like variant cover is really, really cool for uh, X Sword Stasis. Some character design stuff for the other world mutants. Yeah, definitely some good stuff in here. And still, like I said, here's the awesome like wraparound. Definitely worth the read. Just uh, set your expectations because you may be a little disappointed um, if you're expecting, like, an awesome, like, arena-style contest to come, which is what they make you believe, and then sort of pull the wool over your eyes. All right, guys, that's enough of that. So that's the X of Swords oversized hardcover. So thank you for watching this video. And do me a favor, please like or subscribe or comment. Do one of those, if not all of those. It really helps out my channel. So take care. Have a great rest of your day.